All right, guys. <clears throat> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking over the top beautiful. It is a Monday morning here in the end times. Sun coming up over another Monday morning. That would be Monday morning, July 31st, 2023, wrapping up the hottest year on planet Earth. And what is it? 120,000 years. I am sitting here. Let's see. I've got on flannel pajamas, a thick sweatshirt, a goose down vest, and my Uggs on my feet. It is an absolutely glorious October day in July here in the Finger Lakes of New York. I think it's might be in the 40s right now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I, you know, I'm trying to wrap my head around all of these news stories about uh, <clears throat> this global heat wave gripping this planet. And just having a hard time. Well, I see my battery <coughs> battery light is already blinking. <coughs> so, I am one half the way. We are wrapping up one half of the summer here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I cannot believe that uh, I am one half of the way through. <coughs> Summertime in paradise in the end times. Good God. Where has three months gone? And so we begin the next three months. August, September, October of uh, 2023. See where this will take us. See if this gorgeous, cool, rainy weather continues. <clears throat> and apparently it is, since it's barely going to get out of the 70s for the first 10 days of August. Uh, so anyway, figuring out what to do, I'm going to start building a trail system. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, wanting to do this for years. So, Alistair, if you are listening to this, or anybody else who wants to come down to Bugs in a Jar and help me hack hiking trails through the woods, the job is available. Should be about, good Lord, by the time I finish, it a half a mile <clears throat> maybe over, uh, maybe two-thirds of a mile of of hiking trails through the woods here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. For People are asking where to go hiking around here. Well, I'll say, why don't you go hiking out your back door? So anyone who wants to come hack trails through the woods, come see me. But, uh... I am sitting here already dreading. I'm, I'm halfway through, and already I am dreading what the fuck I'm going to be doing with myself for six months this winter. You know, what, what goddamn beautiful tropical beach will I be uh, hanging out on? You know, what, what beautiful uh, jungle paradise will I be sitting alone with my thumb up my ass while I go back to Bacalar, Mexico and be tortured by all the gorgeous, haughty, young vulva smoothie slurpers strutting there. Stuff up and down the lake shore in Bacalar, Mexico. What goddamn beautiful blue cenote swimming hole 
Am I going to have to suffer watching all these beautiful people swimming around and all the young lovers and all the gangs of friends hanging out together? Six fucking months to kill. Oh, boy. Escaping winter time up here. Does anyone have any great ideas? You know, I'm fishing again. I have, the only thing is I, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to do that shit that I did last year without my dog minimally and my dog in my truck. So, uh, you, you know, the, the choices are Florida or Mexico. As far as the dog and the truck are concerned, I'm not going to cross farther than Mexico with that dog. It's just not worth it. Oh, God. Another winter in fucking Mexico. Who knows, maybe back to the Caribbean. Well, I can't take my gas-sucking truck there. I guess I can take my dog. Oh, Jesus. You know, just being stuck in some fucking beautiful tropical paradise surrounded by beautiful people. The very thought... Just gets this old doomer depressed. Oh boy, life. Life on a Monday morning. Just you know, I don't know. I'm I'm almost sixty four years old, and and, and I have always. I, I mean, even since I was a little kid just been absolutely fascinated what goes through the minds of normies I mean what the fuck what do the fuck do most people think about what do they fucking think about um, 8 billion people on this planet right now and, and what is going through the minds of all of us mindless brainless you know I'm well at least on the uh, eastern time zone in the US I, I'm thinking of, of the millions of people sitting in rush hour traffic right now maybe the corona panic has taken a little bit of the edge off the of rush hour traffic i mean I'm, I'm thinking of where i grew up atlanta georgia what what do the fucking freeways look like in that godforsaken hellhole i used to call home what the fuck just you know day after day after day Day, week after week, month after month, year after year, decade after decade, getting in that fucking gas sucking car. Just sit there and park yourself on the fucking freeway. I mean, good God. Uh, God damn world waking up to a Monday morning. Sitting in that fucking traffic, listening to that crap on the fucking radio. Does commercial radio even exist anymore? I mean, what the fuck? Who the fuck listens to commercial radio at this point? With all of these uh, satellite music op <coughs> options. Oh, uh, I'm sure NPR is droning on and on. What is the number one story on NPR today? 
I'm assuming, well, maybe it'll be tomorrow, talking about July being the hottest month in the history of the planet. Who knows? And it's probably something to do about some goddamn Trump indictment. Oh, God damn. You know, I will say, <clears throat> I have not spent that much of my life sitting in rush hour traffic. I've done a pretty good job of avoiding sitting in fucking rush hour traffic with the herds of clueless fucking sheeple chasing the fucking money. I mean, e even in journalism and real estate, you can, uh, <clears throat> in both of those careers, you know, you can build your day around not getting stuck in, uh, in, in, in fucking rush hour traffic. My late, great, dear, sweet ex-wife, she insisted that she, she honestly didn't mind. I mean, she went through that fucking gauntlet from Santa Cruz to uh, San Jose over Highway 17 from hell in the Santa Cruz Mountains, which is a beautiful drive. <clears throat> you know, as she pointed out to me, that, that for one thing, it is a beautiful drive if you just ignore uh, the, the fucking, uh, parking lot, it, it, you know, it's, uh, if you're going to be stuck in, uh, <clears throat> in a fucking parking lot for three hours a day, it might as well be on Highway 17, she would put on NPR, <clears throat> she absolutely worshipped NPR, if it was on NPR, it had to be true. So for three hours a day, five days a week, for seven years, that woman uh, sat in her gas-sucking car on Highway 17 listening to NPR. And uh, <clears throat> she insisted, and I guess I believe her, she insisted that it really didn't bother her that much. Yeah. Who the fuck knows? But, uh, not for me. Oh, so here I sit. On this spectacularly gorgeous Monday morning. Thinking about hacking trails through the wilderness and thinking about all the clueless fucking morons sitting in traffic. I don't know, what, what time is it in Sub-Saharan Africa? <clears throat> we have a traffic jam here on at Bugs in a Jar. We have two cars coming by at the same time. That is unheard of. We never have two cars driving by. That is a traffic jam at Bugs in a Jar Farm. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to let the clueless fucking morons go back to sitting in fucking <clears throat> rush hour traffic chasing the almighty dollar so they can pay their car payments so they can have a car to sit in rush hour traffic to make money to pay their car payments. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Humans, you know, we, we really are fucking clueless fucking morons. We really are. Uh, everything about us, we have lost all connection to anything. Uh, you know, we, we have just turned in, into 
literally an insane species. We are not going to stop uh, <clears throat> with this fucking insanity. We aren't going to stop with this fucking insanity until, until it stops. Oh, uh, well. I've got to go refill my cup of planet-saving organic coffee. To give me some motivation to go uh, hack trails through the wilderness. Get out my gas sucking chainsaw, my gas sucking weed whacker, crank up the gator. So let's see, I'm getting ready to use four fossil fueled machines to uh, do this, to hack my trail through the wilderness. Four fossil fuel powered pieces of machinery. Go do me some planet nibbling while I still can. Enjoy your Monday morning in the end times on your last day of the hottest month on planet Earth in 120,000 years. Bye, guys.